What's up guys, it is Brad here and welcome back to another episode of my world and another tutorial video. So you remember, do you remember when I showed you guys on how to get the best armor and weapons in the game right here? Yeah. But what with all those enchantments? And what do the enchantments do? Yeah, today I'm going to show you guys on what they do. If you guys want to see more tutorials, and hence, let me know, or tips, let me know by leaving a like down below and subscribe. Alright. So, let's start off with the armor. So, how, are the, how is the armor so helpful? Let's start off with the diamond helmet. Well, I mean, yeah. Yeah, for protection 4. Oh, let me put on the armor right now. And show you. Okay, my sword. Let me switch into game mode survival here. Slash time set midnight. Slash difficulty normal. Hey, there's a zombie right now. Oh, but watch out for creepers. Yeah, with protection 4, it lets you deal less damage to mobs. As you can see, come here, zombie. It didn't give me, it didn't, it didn't even take half a heart from me. Very helpful. Sorry, buddy, that, but you gotta go. So, you need to have protection 4 on all of your armor, for that way. So that way, it, you'll, do, you'll deal less damage to mobs. Yeah, for all of your diamond armor. Now, I'm breaking three. What does I'm breaking do? Well, it deals less damage or durability to your armor. As you can see, it it deal one. Back into survival. It lets you deal less damage to to your armor. Yeah, for I'm breaking three. Yeah, for I'm breaking. As you can see, let's wait for the zombie to come. He hit at us. He hit my he hit my helmet and boots, but he didn't even hit my chest plate. So a breaking three is great. Ow! He, he said me. He said, "Yeah, be careful with the zombie when you're on fire." Ah! Oh, back in the grenade mode. Oh, when I was close, that zombie almost got me. All right, mending. What does mending do? Well, it helps you mend your armor with XP. As you can see, take a look at my, my stuff right here. Yeah, and my helmet just got mended with the XP right there. So, mending is very important. And, uh oh, it's the phantoms. Yikes. We'll get to those, go, those guys in a second. Yeah, if you. Yeah, when a phantom spawn, a phantom spawns when you haven't slept in a while, so they're no fun. I had used you guys have seen those in Rolliverse. Right, next one for my helmet, Aqua Affinity. What does Aqua Affinity do? Well, it helps you increase water. It helps you. It helps you mine faster. And while on the water, with your. So, yeah. Alright. Difficulty. Peaceful. I switched to game mode survival. If we take off my helmet right now. Slow. But with the Aqua Affinity, much faster. So, Aqua Affinity is very important. Now, Respiration 3. It helps you, it takes away less water, water bubbles. From calm below. If we go under water, it takes away a lot. But if we put on the respiration three, look at the bottom. It takes a lot less time. So very helpful. So that's pretty nice. So that covers our, the helmet. Now for thorns. So what does thorns do? Well, it helps when it, when the when the mob hits me, it takes it takes damage from my thorns. Let's let's for example with the zombie. Yeah, I got hit and he got hit. So very very important. 
Alright, creative. Oh, that was close. That's, uh, that spider almost got me. So, thorns is very important. Now for Death Strider. It helps to stride through the water faster. As you can see, without Death Strider, slow, but with, but with Death Strider, much faster. Yes, yeah, Death Strider is very important. Now for Feather Falling. What does Feather Falling do? Uh, let me send it back to the de Peaceful. Well, it, 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 de it decreases damage, fall damage, when you're falling. As you can see, without Feather Falling, youch. Let's go back up and test it with Feather Falling. Yeah, without my Feather Falling boots, I took away two and a half hearts, but with Feather Falling, only half a heart. Very, very, very important. To bring those. And anyway, Frost Walker. What does Frost Walker do? Well, it spawns in ice when you're walking across water. Look at this. Does this look sick? Yeah, it does. Indeed, it does. I wouldn't recommend using Frost Walker during mining. And yeah, it only melts when it's daytime. Yeah, so this, so you're gonna stay there for a while. <laughs> oh my gosh. So that covers up the armor. Yeah, for the Elytra and the turtle shell, it gives you 10 seconds of water breathing. And then with the rest of the enchantments, it's very helpful when you're expl exploring the ocean. And the, and the way to get it is by... Yeah, you guys have saw that in my potion video. So you guys could go check that out yourself. So it's very, very important. Ugh, let's put these away and move on to the weapons. Oh yeah, we already covered mending. Okay, good, good, good. all right, we're good, we're good, we're good. All right, sharpness, sharpness. What does sharpness do? Well, it increased damage on not hostile mobs. If we go to this horse, it has 11 hearts. But we hit it with... With sharpness. Excuse me. With sharpness. Excuse me. Let's go back. Yeah, it took away four and a half hearts. I would not recommend using sharpness on... On hostile mobs. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Knockback 2. What does knockback do? Alright, let's send it back to normal. Well, it, it knocks it knocks the, the mob back in, or the player. As you see, hey, Creeper. Boom! It knocks him back a bit more. But without knockback, nor normal. But with, but with knockback, very helpful. Next up, fire aspect. As you can saw by killing the creeper, it sets it sets the mob on fire. Very helpful. It, it is perfect. Next, next one. Looting three. What does looting three do? Well, it increases the percentages on on mobs on mob drops. It's perfect to kill to get a record from a creeper. So far, we haven't gotten one. And perfect for getting a trident from drown mobs. It's very difficult, though, and it takes time. Anyway. Yeah, sweeping edge. What does sweeping edge do? Well, it increases the sweep damage on other mobs. If we get... Let's go and summon... Three husks to explain it. Oh, it's a baby zombie. Boom. And increase more damage. Very, very helpful. And oh yeah, I don't have hostile mobs on. Oh hey, Phantom! Come here, buddy! Oh, he's pretty fast. Alright, now Smite. What does Smite do? Well, Smite increases damage on hostile mobs. But not creepers, though, and spiders. 
Let's t test it with the zombie. Boom! It died instantly! Yeah, it's very, very helpful to have smite on hostile mobs. Let's test it on the skeleton! Yeah! You just get, get wrecked, bro! It sucks! <laughs> I know that's kind of mean. Well, it's because I was in creative mode. Anyway, efficiency 5. What does efficiency 5 do? Well, and increase the mining, mining. Ugh. It increases the mining, the mining speed with, with, while you're mining. Let me go into survival. Normal, slow, but efficiency up to five. Much faster, very helpful. Now for Fortune 3, what does Fortune 3 do? Well, it increases the number of stuff you can get from... The number of stuff from... Well, what, what it drops. And perfect for finding diamonds, too. And with, with Fortune... Without Fortune? Only one. But with Fortune? We got three. Very helpful. All right, that covers up the tools. Oh yeah, Silk Touch. What does Silk Touch do? Well, it helps you collect the, the thing that you need. Yeah, and it collects the the block block that you need. Boom! New recipes unlocked. Oh, thank you. So that's pretty helpful. Oh my goodness. I really need my feather falling boots. Yeah, so that's pretty helpful. Now to move on to the trident. Impaling 5. What does impaling 5 do? Well, it increases damage on underwater mobs. Whoa, lag, lag, lag. Let's go and get a drown mob. Eee! Oh yeah, it's peaceful mode. Oops. Oh great, this is not the time to lag. Eee! Hold on, let me reload. Let me let me re-log in. I'm gonna re-log guys. Hopefully this will work. Come on. Alright, let's try this again. Alright, with with impaling, it increases damage on underwater mobs. Oh yeah, and a very good effect. Well, not from that one, but for the fishies, though. Let's do a much better example for our our unfriendly pufferfish. Let's go over to this pond. And boom! One hit on that pufferfish. Perfect. Now for loyalty. What does loyalty do? Well, let me set it back to difficulty peaceful. To it brings the trident back at you. All right. Game mode survival. And boom, let's test this. Boom! It brings it back to you. Very helpful. Now to ch ch channeling. What the? Ugh. Game. Game mode created. What does channeling do? Well, it, it summons lightning to mobs. Oh, right. It's not. It sets. It's. It sets off lightning. 
Oh, Ron tried it. Oops. Let's try again. Oh, yeah, it's not raining. Yeah, it needs to be raining for this to work. Or thunderstorming. And... Oh, stop. I keep using the wrong one. That's that's the hint for the next enchantment. And boom, it sets off lightning it, when it hits on the mob, which means we can finally get charged creepers. Yes. And next up. All right. Difficulty. Peaceful. Now for the try. Now for Riptide. What does Riptide do? Well, it helps you travel on rain and the ocean. Oh, not again. Not again. Not again. Ugh. Let me get away from the lag spikes over there. And it has a pretty cool animation. Oh, hold on. Let me reload. So that way it won't be this, this laggy. Oh, this is not the time. There we go. Yeah, Riptide is very cool. And, and another way to travel, too, with your Elytra or Elytra. Either way. Oh, come on. All right, it's taking a while. All right, let's try this again. Oh, difficulty graceful. All right, let's see what Riptide does. Yeah, it helped you travel with it. That's a pretty dope animation. Look at this. Look at this. I'm just traveling around. Yeah, we're doing it. We're doing it live. Yes, yes. We're moving around like it's no one's business. So cool. So that's what the Trident enchantments do. Oh, it's thunderstorming. Let's change that. Weather clear. Now for the, the fishing rod. Luck at the luck at the C three. What does it do? Well, it helps increases the chance that you get from while fishing, such as enchanted books or enchanted bows or fishing rods. Very cool. That's why you need that AFK fish farm to get some of those mending books. There is a chance that you could get mending. Yeah. What the heck? Oh, I've been using my Frostwalker boots. <laughs> Oops. And now for lure. What does lure do? Well, it de it it decreases the time it takes for it, for the fishy or for the stuff to come. Oh, I have my my Frostwalker boots up. Yeah, it takes less time to do it. It's very helpful. So is that everything? And oh yeah, I forgot about the fl the bow enchantments. Oops. Yeah, power five. What does power five do? Well, it increases damage on mobs with the bow, but not the sword. Yeah, and punch too. Well, it knocks them back a bit more, just like not back. They're just the same as as the sword, but with with bow types. Flame. It sets them on fire, just like fire aspects. Infinity. What does infinity do? Well, you have well, it you have an infinite amount of arrows. So if I get a arrow, game mode survival. I had one. Boom! Perfect! So I recommend using Infinity, but Mending... Yeah, I, I think Mending might be a bit better, so that way you'll mend your bow. But be sure to bring a lot of arrows when you're fighting mobs. Very important. I think I covered everything. Sweet! Alright, hopefully guys, this... Hopefully, hopefully this helps you guys on how, what the enchantments do. Yeah, and... And why you need them yeah if you guys want to see more t tutorial hints and and how to get better in minecraft let me know by leaving a like down below and subscribe and comment down below on what i should do next but yeah but thank you guys so much for watching really hope you guys have enjoyed 
Have a wonderful fun, safe day. I'll see you guys next time. Mega Brad out.